lacking the knowledge of God, we have no reason to question why bad things happen. So just a couple weeks later, when I came home, we got this 0% chance of survival diagnosis for Michael. And so Michael was diagnosed with fetal hydrops, which is basically where your body just fills with fluid. And it has a very, 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 very low survival rate. I decided that, you know, this was probably part of God's plan, whether it was for good or bad. And so I asked Father McGivney to pray for Michael and told him that we would change his name to Michael McGivney Shackle if, if he did pray for him. You know, if there was ever a baby that Father McGivney would want to help, this would be the one based on everything that the Knights of Columbus stands for. One of the things I pondered is that I never knew the moment when God showed up and healed my child. So to be a mother and then to say that he's healed, it's miraculous. Our family has had a devotion to Father McGivney for 15 or 20 years, ever since I was a grand knight. So our little home school was named Father McGivney Academy. But when I read the biography of Father McGivney's life parish priest, I realized for the first time really, what the Knights of Columbus was actually founded for was to take care of widows and orphans. He died at 38 years old during a pandemic, trying to care for Catholic families, going around Connecticut, trying to get as many Catholics into the Knights of Columbus as he could so that their family would be okay. He had adopted children, and he basically worked himself to death by 38 years old trying to not only spiritually but financially take care of Catholic families. I looked at Father McGivney and I look at what the Knights of Columbus does. I knew that he was the oldest of 13 children and had to leave the seminary to raise his brothers just to keep his own family together. And I had a feeling that he kind of liked us too because of where we were. You know? From Michael J. McGivney's life, we can take, he inspired married men to not only be, fight for themselves and for their families, but to be gentle and to help those who are less fortunate. And I think that's really carried over into this whole thing with Michael and the miracle, is that it's like, we're all just kind of in awe of what's happening. No, I think we've all known it was gonna happen. We never, never had any doubt. It was like you couldn't write the story with a human brain any more perfectly than it was written. This is the perfect moment for this. 